Mike Ayler wrote the Earth Sheltered Solar Greenhouse book. What you see here is the second greenhouse he built on his property using these techniques. Mike Ayler hasn't used this greenhouse for three years. When this video is taken, he is 71 and has a bad knee. It's a cold day in April, but he takes us on a four-hour walking tour barefoot. This is my old camera with the awful sound. Uh, since, uh, since I quit living in the house down there, because I have to hike all the way up this damn thing to tend the plants, you know. And <laughs> oh, well. yeah, it's too bad you weren't here. So nothing for three years. consider there's all kinds of gaps up here. This is a new, this and this over here, a new, um, uh, what do we call it? Damage? Dis yeah, disintegration. Uh, they pushed up, and the reason they pushed up is um, they, they froze underneath and, and up thrust. And the reason it did that is because we had all this open stuff. I didn't buckle this up last winter, so this got really cold in here. If it, had it all been buckled up, the ground wouldn't have frozen beneath there. So, anyway, it took that damage. Um, now, where do you live? Where do you vent it? Move, move down a bit so it's... Uh, wonder, I want to go ahead and back up and... Yeah, well, we vent it. Here's the floor. Another mistake was, um, if you look carefully, you'll see cracks in that wall over there between the boards. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, all I had out there was some tar paper. I never insulated that. So, and this is all single pane up here instead of double dual pane. Um, so this is not a good greenhouse. It just happens to be better than anybody else's. <laughs> and if, if you did it right, it would be an absolute super duper greenhouse, you know. But, uh, this, uh, this takes tomatoes year after year into the second week in December. And it uh, takes uh, things like kale and cabbage and stuff clear through the winter. Uh, they're not still growing in January, but um, they're uh, still alive. And you can harvest them all. Wow. So what happens is the cold air that would settle down on these plants here tumbles over into this. There's a pit beneath this walkway. So the cold air is taken away. If you see my book on the back, it says how to use gravity to heat your plants. And returns returns warm air for it. We're back outside. Since this video clip was taken in April, the sun is a bit higher in the sky than in December. One change I'd like to make here is to take out whatever is shading the greenhouse on the left. Turning around and taking a look to the south, I think I would take out some of these trees too. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about alternative building, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.